Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today I'm taking a first impressions look at Ford Racing Off-Road. This is one of those silly sort of games that are randomly appearing on Steam that I said, Hey, you know what? It's silly, it's old, let's take a look at it. I was not aware that Ford had a uh, their own series of branded racing games, because there is more than one. There's quite a few, actually. But uh, yeah, this is Off-Road, so... Hopefully we're going to be slamming through some nonsense courses like the one in the background here. It's some um, Ford Tough vehicles. Um, let's do career, I guess. Alright, we have nothing in our garage. Ah uh, yes, repair pods. Just what you'd expect in a racing game. Alright, so we've got a Ford Ranger, a Ford Defender, a Bronco, and a Ford Escape. And we can only afford the first two. We're gonna buy a Defender because it looks a lot like a Russian UAZ. Seems to have pretty much all around stats. Alright, so it seems like the only controls are the arrow keys. I don't know if there's like a drift option or what. I'm gonna say that because this is a licensed game, it probably does not have any damage damage modeling on any of the cars. Because apparently car companies don't like to see their cars be damaged, and it's bad for their marketing. It's nice that they do have some shortcuts on the map. Though it is kind of defeated by them being on the actual map at the bottom. Oh, three laps. Also, this one doesn't seem like a shortcut. This seems longer than just going straight. Everything was going so well, and I tried to take a shortcut. I'm guessing that blue dot on the map is a repair pod. Though I can't tell how damaged we are. Since Fords are built like a rock, there's not a scratch on it. I wish you could remember more forward marketing terms. These guys are just fucking bumper to bumper. Except on the sides. The 
which is really nothing like bumper to bumper at all. I suppose it would have been more accurate to say wheel to wheel. There seems to be very little in the actual collision model, so I can't just like knock these guys askew. You know, like a Ford would. All this game is missing is some drag yellow or something while you're slamming into other Fords. Just peachy. Congratulations, you won. Why, thank you, Ford Off-Road. Or Ford Racing Off-Road. Except, I got 10 points. Oh, I see, it's a two-part race. So we have to get... We don't have to get first here unless that escape also gets first. But still, we should go for first. And of course, we're in last. Oh man, look at that hood. It is very slightly damaged. At least it's not the same racetrack sound soundtrack. Get some more sweet generic rock. Oh god. Yeah, yep, yeah, I know. I will say that of all the types of racing, off-road racing would probably be the most enjoyable to actually participate in. Except for maybe a destruction derby, that's not really racing. I do feel kind of bad that on this channel, of the racing games I've covered, they've all been pretty much weird old racing games, and not really, you know, the good stuff. Or what I assume people consider the good stuff. Which, for PC at least, seems to be mostly just the Codemaster stuff, and stuff like Assetto Corsetta. Is that what's called Assetto Corsetta? I can't remember. Or next car game. I have like a weird relationship with racing games because essentially I'm not really into racing games, but there are some that I just really enjoyed in the time that I ended up playing them for whatever reason. I thought we were going to roll it there. So yeah, I don't know what any of the other controls are, like, you know, braking and hand braking. So it's going to be kind of funny if I win this with just the arrow keys and nothing else. Oh shit. Oh. Not sure that's how physics works, but okay. Man, all this sand just reminds me of, uh... Episode 1 pod racing for the N64. 
And that was a racing game I played the shit out of as a kid. Not really sure it was a good game, but it was fun back in the day. Honestly, I think it was weighed down by its association with episode one. That takes the cake. Completely truthful cake. So we won the race. We won the race. And we unlocked some stuff, and we got $8,000. So we made a little bit of profit on our Ford Defender. Sorry, Land Rover Defender. Because I guess they're not the same company, but they're two branches of the same company now. Anyhow, I think that's a pretty good look at Ford Off-Road Racing. Sorry, I said it wrong again. Ford Racing Off-Road. Let's go to the showroom and see what else we can buy here. Oh, I can't even look at them. F-150. A concept one. Freelander. Ford Expedition. Explorer. Equator. The almost Hummer looking one. Sport Track. 250. 350. Range Rover. Mighty F350. So eventually you get into the overcompensation trucks. I didn't even notice you can change the color. I mean, obviously we should have got crushed cherry red or whatever. Cars always have really silly names for their paint jobs. But yeah, that's Ford Racing Off-Road. It seems like a pretty simplistic racing game where you drive Ford vehicles. You know, there doesn't seem anything too fancy to it. It doesn't seem awful or anything, it just doesn't seem very deep, I guess. But it's also a pretty old game, so that's not really surprising. This is five bucks on Steam if you're into that, but uh, yes, yeah, seems like it was probably acceptable at the time it came out. I've been Shadeflyer, this is Ford Racing Off-Road, and I'll see you again with some other truck in some other time. Until then, y'all keep on trucking, and uh, buy a Ford I guess?